MustangMedic.com. You see everything from day one to day sold. Thanks for watching. We work on, buy, sell, restore, and most of all, Mustang love Medic. your Mustang. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. The 1964.5 Mustang Coupe Restoration Project. All right, 64.5. We are pumping fuel through her now. So uh, basically, we're going to disconnect the uh, line that hooks up to the fuel pump. And we are going to use the suction tool, and we're going to pull the fuel from the tank with our own suction device, fill up that filter, and then reconnect it, try to start it, and see if she primes herself and starts feeding fuel to herself. So we're going to attempt to start her again. We are also getting a, uh, a, a, a what is that, a quick start? No, uh, what's it called, a quick start? Uh, remote start, which is a button. I ordered it, won't get it till about 3 o'clock today, so I won't be doing the screwdriver thing. I'm basically just going to go start, start, start. Make it a lot easier on us. Oh, and thank you, uh, uh, Russ, for that uh, that tip. Russ is great. He's like, Will, this tool, that tool, this tool. I'm like, okay, I'll get it. <laughs> so props out there to Russ. You know who you are in San Diego. We're very grateful. All right, so there you go. You can see that the fuel is coming up through the line. We're going to um, hook it up to the uh, fuel pump. You can see overspray in the fuel pump, which means somebody spray painted this block. Obviously, we put on the water pump, so you see a nice contrast. But somebody spray painted this block with this uh, fuel pump on. It's possible it's old and just looks pretty clean. Um, but it's also possible they put it on and then did the spray painting. So we know fuel now is all the way up to here and through all the lines. Now we just need this uh, darn pump to get some fuel in her so she can start to fill up this one. And then we'll know we're good to go. And there it is. There's the fuel coming through. So, all right, we're good. We're going to, uh, Nick, let's hook this back up to the, the fuel pump and let's see if we can get her uh, kicked over again and see if we can fill up this filter and get fuel into that car. And we blew that line out, if you guys remember correctly, so it's all good to go. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you remember. I was yeah, that's when Nick, <laughs> Nick was choking and gagging at that time. And there's that gorgeous. Uh, it's interesting, this one stays full. Ours, on our 429, it goes empty after the engine's not running. But this one seems to stay full, which I find very interesting. You can see that ours drains out every time we turn off the engine. All right, here we go. Another adventure with the 64 and a half. Battery is dead on the 64 and a half uh, today, so I'm just gonna let it charge tonight. We'll let it charge and then we're gonna revisit her tomorrow. But we know we got fuel all the way up to the pump now. Now we just gotta see if we can get this pump to kick in and start to suck fuel. If it doesn't, I'm gonna recommend getting a new fuel pump for her and we'll see what the client wants to do. Um, he does wanna drive her down the road, uh, but it still needs a number of parts to make that happen safely. MustangMedic.com Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com We take the frustration out of restoration. MustangMedic.com